What's up, everybody? It's your boy Sparky CJ back again with another Sparky Reacts episode three. Today's episode is actually now more of on my old videos, and I'm gonna do a couple episodes of these because I have a, I have a few of them I want to like show off. And then after that, then I kind of branch into now my Pokemon showdown stuff, and that's where the true react is the reason for this. But let's get into it. My first video is one of my most hated or more equally hated video is entitled NBA Flop Moments. It has 15 likes and 16 dislikes. Let's turn that dat down. That is too loud. The main hate for this is because people are saying stuff like, you know, I don't know about, I don't know nothing about NBA, and then that's not really a flop and stuff. You know, because this is, I got it from like a website where it's like the top, it's like top ten flops and stuff like that. And um, people saying I pronounce people names wrong, so let's get into it. Oh, twenty of them. Carmelo, Carmelo. Wait, 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 let me go back. I don't know what I just said. Sam Young versus Camelo Anthony. Sam Young right here. Oh, I said it's Camelo. Camelo Anthony. Camelo right here. You can see how Camelo Anthony ultimately he falls over. The next one is Chris Paul and JJ Barrera. This is JJ Barrera right here. No, um, Chris Paul and JJ, I think, Bur um, Beretic. I think it's Beretic or something like that. I think it's Beretic. Yeah, DeMarcus Cousins. Yes, Nene, but what is, I, 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 even, I forgot his last name as well. Yeah, you don't touch him. And I call him Chris Paul by accident. See, um, even today, some of the names, I, I mean, I have to look at them. I probably could pronounce them way better now. But for me, it's like, I don't see it as, as a big deal. Because when you talk about pronouncing words and stuff like, you know, I, you know, I, you got, I mean, I can, go, I can show you guys some comments, really. But the way it is that we're all from different parts of the world. And we all will pronounce words very differently, well, words very differently. Differently, my bad. Differently, you know. So I mean, people are like, "Oh man, you know, you're pronouncing that wrong." So like, how you pronounce it? Because we, because you should know every that is the vowels a e i o and u. They all have two different sounding of each of those five letters, and sometimes why. So when you say when you, when you pronounce certain words, some, when you pronounce certain words, you might pronounce it this way, I pronounce it this way. It might be exactly the same, determining. I mean, hey, you, it's like you can't really get mad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, if, if I hear you pronounce the word, I'd be like, hey, you're pronouncing that wrong. And then you'd be like, hey, I, I hear you pronouncing that wrong on word wrong. Like, no, I'm not pronouncing it wrong. It's just we're from two different parts of the world most of the time, determining who you're talking about. And people are like, hey, you pronounced that wrong. But if we're both like in the U.S., you know what I'm saying, both speaking with that American accent, then yeah, I can say you're pronouncing that wrong. But if you're from U.K., you um can speak Spanish, um... French, you know, their French accent, um, uh, I guess, like, not Latina accent, but more, um, Spanish accent, all that stuff, it makes sense, and so you can't really get mad if someone actually pronounced, oh, what, someone's name wrong, I tried my best. Oh, 
Carlos Boozer. 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 And you can see the elbow right there. Doesn't even touch it. Look at it. <laughs> I mean, it probably, it probably <laughs> touched him a little bit. But other than that, it's barely touched him. And then Chris Paul just falls fall. Not Chris Paul, my bad. Chris Paul just acts like that. Like, oh, junk, you done hit me. Barely, look at that. Barely even touch him. You probably could barely see this one. But it right here. Uh, Dirt and Nabinsky. And then Andre Andre. A-N-D-R-E-I. Because it goes a little zoom. You can see that he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't even touch him whatsoever. He does not touch him whatsoever. Next we have Kevin Love right here. Kevin and Love. Tim Hardaway Jr. Okay. Yeah, Hardaway. Freaking Tommy mean, freaking Kevin Love. is tall as no dude. Probably a little bigger. Yeah, he gonna fall over. Look at that. He didn't, he didn't do all that. Next we got LeBron James right here. And David West. I can't even see my mouse. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I guess you guys get the idea of these floppings and stuff like that. So let's go on to the next video, and I'll be right back. Actually, I think I have it right here. Let me pause it. Well, I should mute it so it's not going to add playing. I'll pause it if there's an ad going to play. Yeah, it's going to add on play. Okay, guys, I am back, and this video is entitled My Straight Talk Phone. So let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, CJ Mack, getting back here again with another video. I move too much, man. I move way too much. My phone is Straight Talk LG 5050. There it is right here. It's the phone right there. I still have it. This video was made, I think, in 2000. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at how I pause in my face. But um I think that's all I gotta tell you. I mean I think I do some other stuff like I open the phone, stuff like that. It's a quarter keyboard. Yeah, so what I'm saying is like when it comes to my phone, I like the the keyboard to it because um, you know, I'm always on my computer, and so when it comes to texting like that, it's a lot easier than actually doing touch screen and just do 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 and all that stuff like that. But uh, I think that's really it. Um, let's see if we can find another video, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back, and our next video is entitled "Blues versus Ass." So I guess you guys get an idea of what I'm about to say. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy CJ back again with another video. <laughs> See, see how I can see I struggle when I said that. I was like, you, you know what I'm talking about. Booze. Ass. There you go. Good Lord, man. You look at it, you and you don't ask me which one do I prefer. And me, I, I, I've been all for tits all the way, big tits all the way. And you say, well, of course, you like tits, then, you know, you ain't, you ain't a man if you don't like ass. I'm um, again, I paused in a very funny moment. But uh, to clarify that one little statement, is that for me? Obviously, my whole my whole um things I like I like booze more than ass. And then most as I guess you could say most black guys love girls with big asses. Uh, I'm a little cute. I'm a little keep playing. I'm gonna get my final. I guess I guess I guess uh more of a synopsis of what I'm trying to say in this video. If you guys be like, what are you saying? Just 
Yeah, so that's, yeah, it's, I think it's really all to the, what I'm saying because I think if I keep talking about it, I think I end up um, what is it um, I'll re, I'm read it, I'll read literally thing, you know, repeat myself. But basically, yes, over boobs and ass, I like boobs more. Maybe the whole stereotype, I guess, stereotype that most black guys like girls with big butts, big asses. And for me, is that as of right now, my mind says that if you, if your girlfriend were to have either I guess small tits and big ass, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's that like you might say, what's your preference? You know, before it's like which one you want more over the other. For me, it's like if you like a girl and she either she has like guess. Um, more let's say more of not small ass, but more of that medium one with medium boobs, like a thing around B cup. Then, hey man, I think it's okay because you like the girl. She just so happens to have one of the two assets, one or both of the assets. Assets, <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and um, find our next video. And I'm I'm looking at it right now, and it's gonna be pretty enjoyable. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and today's video, well, I'll tell you the video, this video is entitled, A $1 Pregnancy Test. Let's get into it. A saw. It's saw not seen. <laughs> I forgot I need something like that, man. With the whole um, can you get? Can you guys guess what I'm um what I'm about to say? Even though it's right there in the title, one dollar pregnancy test. Like, oh, the pregnancy test? Yes, it is. And I'm like, I give five seconds. Turn my head to the side. Like, time is up. <laughs> I'm moving too fast, man. It might not. I mean, it might work. You know, just because it might work like a regular pregnancy test. But I mean, I mean, it's a dollar. It's cheap. I mean, I wonder if it, you know, if it works. Yeah, that's really it. But yeah, um, um, I paused it again at one of those moments. But um, yeah, by the 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 whole um, the whole thing about the videos. I was in Dollar Tree. A good while back, I think obviously like 2014 last year, obviously, uh, with my brother and you know, his friend. You know, when I go pick up some stuff. And we at the counter, and I guess you want to say the counter's right here. If I'm looking at the counter, thank you, here's my items. You turn around, and it's a pregnancy test that costs legit a dollar. And so I was talking about the whole one. It's, it's like what I'm saying, kind of like is um, most pregnancy tests, like I guess you get um, CVS, the pharmacy, where... You go down the aisle and it's like, where is they? There they are. But it's it's, it's kind of like, oh, the girl, like, I need I need I need to, I need to test if I'm pregnant or not. It's right there. So he's kind of like, oh, you going to test the pregnancy? Be quiet. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's a dollar. That's the one thing that's baffling me because it's it costs one dollar. It's dollar show the the, the the what the uh, freaking um look the, the store is called Dollar Tree. Yes, everything would cost a dollar. But something like that, and I joked about, um, does it even does it even work? Like, is it like one of them fake ones that's like, oh, it's gonna cost a dollar, but you know, it might not tell you the truth. It might be a cross. It might be like all types of mess up stuff. But um, let's go find another one. I'll be right back. Whoops. 
Okay, guys, I am back. And today's, oh my God, I keep saying that, but um, this video is entitled How Technology Advanced Over Time. You see, I'm sitting down. I guess um, originally I used to always sit down and do my videos, and then I kind of now standing up. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, I remember that so well. Um, we had the bit, the bit behind computers with the booty in the back. Uh, really slow internet, and then at the same time, um, the way how it was was um, I think DSL internet. Well, you got um, your internet and phone, and the way how it was is someone's talking on the phone, you lose internet. Your internet is gone if you're talking on the phone. Today is like, hey, I got me a cell phone. I'm on my computer. There ain't no problems. More, um, it's Motorola, Motorola. It was on um, Motorola Sprint. Um, I think Singular with a C. Um, T-Mobile, I guess. Oh yeah, it's a thing where they have it where it's like it's a, it hits up to your computer and it and it's like a hologram cable where it actually works and it's pretty cool. Well, that order was standard phones, flip phones, the Android like the sidekicks you gotta flip up and then um then you go into now the Android touchscreen. And then stuff like iPhone and that stuff. But I think that's really it. I mean, I think that's all I mainly talk about. It's just phones, computers, TVs. That's awesome. I mean, even think about even cars. I mean, that I mean, that's not technology, but it's in a different kind of way, but it's the same thing. In a way, with cars, you look at, if we ever want to have hover cars, the year like 20, I say the year 2020, when we finally have hover cars. Hey, five more years until then. You tripping. <laughs> um, hover cars. I think there's some cars like that. That water you can put in there and it helps out too. No, it would be on PS10, <clears throat> I think. It's bomb blowing, but yeah, that's really it, and I think that's it to this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys actually got a, good, a little decent laugh, especially the one um, with the pregnancy test one, and then the uh, oh yeah, I think no, yeah, I, I, I think that's the main one. I was that's the funniest one. Uh, which one else? I mean, I, I'm trying to think. Did I think anything else? I, I feel like I was laughing at. I know it was the pregnancy test one, and I, yo, I guess the boob the ass one. I don't think I was laughing too much off of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later. Deuces.